Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Yasser Nadim recording for Prophet's Path. Dear brothers and sisters, one day the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam mentioned a hadith describing the Day of Judgment. He said that when the bridge will be placed on the top of hellfire, Sayyida Aisha radiallahu anha was there. She asked, Ya Rasulullah, at that time, where will the people be? The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam replied, Fi zulmatin dun al jism. They will be away from the bridge in complete darkness. And then an angel will come. And he will call, he will make an announcement on behalf of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He will say that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Bi izzati wa bi jalali, by my majesty and my honor. Anyone who transgressed himself, anyone who oppressed, whether against himself or against others, will not be able today to cross this bridge. And then people will be called and they will be asked to look for their light. All, everyone including mu'mineen and munafiqeen will go to a place searching for their lights. Mu'mineen will have their lights in their hands and munafiqeen will have their lights with them. As soon as they start walking towards the bridge, munafiqeen's light will disappear. And at that time, mu'mineen will make dua. Ya Allah, make our light, make this light complete for us. Atmim lana nurana. And at that time, Munafiqeen, the hypocrites, will request Mu'mineen and they will say, Unzuruna naqtabis min nurikum. Wait for us. Unzuruna naqtabis min nurikum. We want to share your light. At that time, it will be said to them, Irji'u wara'akum faltamisu nura. Go back. Go back to dunya. Go back to dunya and search your light there and then after that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will place a wall between mu'mineen and munafiqeen فَضُرِبَ بَيْنَهُمْ بِسُورِ اللَّهُ بَاب and this wall will have a door بَاطِنُهُ فِيهِ الرَّحْمَةِ وَظَاهِرُهُ مِنْ قِبَلِهِ الْعَذَابِ the inner side of that wall will have divine mercy the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the outer side of this wall will have Adab and punishment of Allah Azza wa Jal. And at that time, these munafiqeen will call mu'mineen. Alam nakum ma'akum? Were we not with you, O people, in dunya? We used to, we used to follow you. We used to be with you all the time. Why, why you're leaving us here? They will say, Bala, definitely you were there with us. Walakin nakum fatantum anfusakum. You're the one who fooled yourself. You're the one who led yourself in a wrong way. Dear brothers and sisters, and these mu'mineen who will go towards the bridge that was placed on the top of hellfire, some of them will be able to cross the bridge very easily because they, have very, they will have very strong light. But some of them will have hard time. The light will be very dim for them. Because their, their obedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was not strong in this dunya. They obeyed Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, but not according to His guidance. They offered the salah, not on time. Sometime they fasted, but sometime they missed. Hajj was wajib on them, but they didn't take time out to offer, to perform hajj. The light for them their brothers and sisters will be dim. Imagine if in this dunya, if we walk in darkness and there's no light around us, we 
face hard time to walk. Imagine when we will be walking on the top of hellfire and some of us will have no light or some of us will have very dim light. How will we be able to cross the bridge? Dear brothers and sisters, this is the time and we have to prepare ourselves. Prepare ourselves for walking on the bridge on the day of judgment. And the only way to prepare ourselves and the only way to make our light strong is that we obey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala jahran wa sirran in our private life, in our public life. Whatever we do, we do with fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in, in, in our heart. Jazakumullahu khayr al jaza wa akhiru da'wana an alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. نور على مر الزمان تألقا وأضاء للدنيا طريقا مشرقا وهدى من الرحمن يهدينا به للصالحات وللمكارم والتقى